Hi, good evening everybody. Really glad to have you here. Let's discuss uh, knives. Let's talk about knives for a few minutes. We have here the Condor Bisonte knife. Okay, the knife designed by Walter A. Matthews, produced by Condor, using 1095 carbon steel, high carbon steel, 4.7 inch blade. The handle is walnut, beautiful dark walnut color with some brass pins, uh, very ergonomic. Also, we have a scan the grind, we have a tumbled, uh, perhaps not tumbled, but hammer finish that Condor has been using. It comes with this uh, really nice leather sheath, uh, what you would expect from Condor. No drainage though at the bottom, perhaps you could procure that yourself if you were inclined to do so. I put this uh, ferro rod on it, I believe it's a 316th, uh, maybe quarter inch, I owe you that, <clears throat> I think it's quarter inch. Uh, it fits perfectly though. Dangler style, really nice to see from Condor. That's always nice, right? Because as you walk around, it's not gonna interfere with you so much. Um, another spec that I wanted to provide was, uh, I said 4.7. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the designer. Um, Mr. Walter Matthews uh, has at least 12 other designs, most of them produced by Condor nowadays. I'm gonna try to find a picture of those, but he, he designed the Pictus, okay, the Trelkin, some arrowheads, some fishing spear points, uh, pretty interesting ones, uh, look, look kind of weird though, I, I, wouldn't, I would not use them, but I'm sure they would be effective from just judging by the looks. Um, he has also the Fortis Axe, the, the, what looks like an interesting knife, he has the Toki knife as well, the Cell Can, and some others, right? So all of these that I mentioned are made by Condor and designed by Mr. Walters. So um, the Bisonte is the one out of the out of the whole series. Uh, I think the Bisonte is the one that appeals to me the most. This is what you would call a dedicated bushcraft uh, woods working tool, woodworking tool. Uh, mostly, I say that based on the grind uh, approach here, right? A decision to go Scandi on a on a fixed blade always lends itself uh, to really good woodworking abilities. <clears throat> so th this blade falls in, in what we would often refer to as the perfect, uh, the ideal um, carry size for, a, for an outdoors knife, right? Which is between four and five inches. I, I definitely like that size quite a lot. No, you're not gonna chop with it, but for everything else, uh, cutting tasks, skin, kindling prep, um, this is in the Becker BK-16 territory. So it's probably a good time to compare the Bisonte from Condor uh, against uh, similar knives. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to begin with similar size knives and then I'm going to move into some other Condor designs that are not necessarily the same size. So that's the BK-16 from K-Bar, designed by Ethan Becker. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a wonderful Condor Cave Lore, a knife that I reviewed very recently. Okay, gives you a size indication there. Then we have the good looking, however, uh, incorrectly treated edge condor large here, right there. I'm getting some glare from the lighting, but <clears throat> this is also a hammer finish, although a little bit finer. Here's the uh, pocket size, low drag, six and a half inch blade, and a lot thicker and the Bisonte here, the different classes of knives right here. This can chop, chop a little bit, this not, absolutely not. The handle is a lot more accomplished on the, on the Bisonte though. And finally, another pocket-sized Condor. This is the, <laughs> this is the Iron Path, um, a knife that I'm yet to review, although I have good, good things to say about it. I mean, this is completely sorted out. Um, Mr. Mr. <clears throat> Walter was uh, sorry. Walter Matthews was very um, very careful with the design, though. I mean, everything is rounded here. You have a giant lanyard hold. The handle is just a win. Any way you look at it, guys, really well made, really well designed, thought out, and executed. With one exception, my Condor. Um, these brass pins here. Uh, people have been complaining about it. They do extend beyond the walnut scale right they do by like half a millimeter on my sample 
I began to send it down with my Dremel. I, I need to finish that job, but um, you, you feel them, you feel them. I don't know if they're gonna create a hotspot the way they come from factory, at least on my version here, but they, they extend a little bit too much. The NAF is about $72. Most of the condors that you see here cost about that much. <clears throat> There's little variation in price in these later the iterations from their, in these later designs from Condor. So for 72, uh, I would expect that not to be present. I would expect uh, just complete, uh, complete, uh, you know, all around perfection like you have here. That should not be there. That should not be there. But <clears throat> I don't want to fault the knife too much. It's very convenient when you're doing these notching, these very precise cuts. That way the the scale wouldn't get in the way. I like it. I like the fact that it's in both sides as well. I've seen it done in the butt of the knife in some recent designs by other makers. I think that should be uh, looked at by Condor perhaps. <clears throat> Okay, so once again, you see the handle slopes down, uh, following the natural curvature of your hand, right? It swells a little bit in the middle where you're where you're most needing of uh, of support in the in the hollow portion of your hand. Uh, it's just really comfortable, guys. Really comfortable. Once again, this is how it fits in the sheath. Okay, and I should have mentioned that there is some styling attempts at. You know, given given to give some pizzazz to the design and the handle, I have no idea what material those are made of. Uh, hopefully G10. So we have some white liners and and red liners there right before the scale. So if someone knows, um, please chime in. They seem to be glued together. I see some glue residue right there. <clears throat> I like seeing them. I you know I prefer the knife with those than without them. But I don't know. I'm not. Not usually after those uh, those, those design uh, elements on a simple knife like this. Actually, I think I may prefer the simple one, not a metal. But yeah, here's the Condor Bisonte, a very interesting looking knife, uh, very comfortable. Uh, it cuts a thousand times better than the than the Heron out of the box. It cuts almost as well as the <clears throat> Cave Lord slash Butch Lord. A dedicated scan the um, bushcrafting knife. Uh, so really two great options. Um, I have to say this one though, I mean, if you ask me which one I would prefer from these two, which are, in my opinion, the most accomplished Condor designs that I have seen in, in, in the recent time, um, I, I still go for the Bush Lord. I think the handle is just a little bit better in my hand, right? This is very hand feeling. It slopes down. The Bush Lord does not slope, slope down, but there is more swell in the middle. It feels it just a tiny bit better. The spine is sharper. I forgot to mention this. The spine is sharper on the cave lord slash bush lord. Uh, it's not very sharp on, on the bisonte. You can strike a spark here. I haven't tried it actually. I have caught wood with it. Um, if, if I have find the time, I'll put some footage into the video. But believe me, I've been cutting wood with it at least for six minutes straight. And it, it cuts beautifully. No complaints whatsoever. But, but I wish the spine was a little sharper, so that's something that I need to fix. I also wanted to mention that the tip, I would prefer it to be a little bit more precise. It, it's like in a little bit of precision uh, for my taste, but overall, I highly recommend it. It's a great option. Thank you.